Hi there, this is Charlie and I'm coming to you today with your daily dose of business tech inspiration. Topic number 289, how to use email analytics to improve your campaigns. I've spoken a lot about using analytics, about getting data that you can assess to determine the effectiveness of your whatever it is you're doing, your marketing campaigns, whatever it is you're doing, uh, whether it's sending something to, to your website and working out whether that page is working well or whether this 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 call to action is working well. We can do exactly the same sorts of things with our email campaigns as well. So today we're going to have a chat about what you can use your email, the analytics within the various programs that you can use to do and why that's important. So let, let's just start from the top and I will probably ramble on a little about some of these things. The first thing you can do with analytics with your email campaigns is track your open rates. Your open rates are basically how many, how many, how many emails have you sent out and how many people actually click on them to open them to read them. Whether not doesn't matter whether they read them or not, it's whether the emails get opened. That's the first metric we start tracking. But that metric in its own will tell you how effective your subject line is uh, and whether the personalization you're using in the subject lines are working for you or are not working. If you're trying to work out whether this subject line is better than this subject line, your open rate is a really good measure of what that is. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice or a little bit of caution you a little bit here. Open rates can be skewed a little. I've found in my my in my own experiences in doing this with other people as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's getting a bit um, dry here. And the reason it can be skewed is that when, when when we're tracking open rates, what the open rate looks at, what what triggers the open rate for us is there is a little image that gets pasted into every email. It's it's basically invisible to the naked eye, but it's a little image so that when it loads up, when the email loads up, it hits our email server, and the email server says, "Oh, they've opened that email because because it's hitting that image." Now. That can be skewed for a couple of reasons. One reason is is that people just look at the email in the little preview browser that they get on on their their email reader. That we found can skew it. The other thing that can skew it is if you're like me and you open up an email and you don't display your images, you don't have images displayed automatically, that will skew it as well. So I can open the email, but it won't actually trigger it as an open because I haven't told it to load the images so it's not going to, or display the images, so it's not going to actually go and hit that image that's hidden in my email. So just be a little careful with open rates that there is, it's a very good measure, but it can be a little skewed at times. So if you're thinking that your email is looking a little skewed, that, 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 that open rate is looking a little skewed, that might be something to look into. The next thing that you would measure is your click through rate. That determines how engaging your content is and whether your call to actions are effective. Now, click through rate literally means are they clicking on links in your email and going and looking at things that you're directing them to? That is, and as I said, that, that actually helps you determine how effective your content and how engaging your content is. The next measurement is your conversion rate. So that understands how well your emails are driving the de desired actions, whether that be a purchase, whether it be a sign up, whether it be a forward this to someone else. What is the conversion rate that you're getting? So how many people are opening your email is the first statistic. How many people are actually clicking on links within the emails and then from there how many people are actually doing the action that you're asking them to do make a purchase sign up to something do something the fourth metric one two three four yep the fourth metric we look at is bounce rates so keeping an eye on our bounce rates is important it identifies issues with our email list such as invalid addresses or spam filters so the bounce rate in this case, if we were talking about it in terms of a website, which I've done in a previous podcast, 
it's how quickly people hit the site and then leave. In this case, it's how many emails are actually sent back to us as invalid or how many are actually lost and marked as spam. So that, that, that affects your bounce rate. Those ones are the ones that you want to go through and clean up if you can. You should actually assess those every, every campaign. Things that say that those email addresses don't exist, you need to remove them from your list. Things that are saying they're being caught as spam, if you can work out which ones are being caught as spam, try to work out why they're being spammed. Is it the system itself that's spamming it or is it the recipient that's hitting the spam button? That will show you an awful lot in itself. Uh, the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth rate is the unsubscribe rate. So tracking how many people actually remove themselves from your mailing list is important. That's going to tell you whether your content is engaging and relevant to your audience. The other thing that will tell you is whether that they are your actual target audience. So I'm going to talk, it says your content is engaging, but it might also be that someone's come along, they've hit your website, they've signed up to your email list, and then you've sent out your first email and they've got, I didn't want this stuff. Wait, wait, what am I getting that for? Because they've forgotten that they've come to your site or they just hit, they just filled in the form. So they're not even, they're not even one of your ideal customers at that point. So them unsubscribing is not a bad thing, but watching that unsubscribe rate and watching how that changes from email to email will help you refine your content a heap. The last thing, once you have all of these metrics that you're starting to track, the last thing that you can be doing is A-B testing. And we've spoken about A-B testing before, A-B testing got to slow down I know I speak very quickly and some people have trouble because I speak so quickly but a b testing is literally does here's one piece of content here's another piece of content they're basically doing the same thing they're just written differently maybe we're using different wording in the first paragraph to the the one in this one which paragraph converts better which call to action works better which subject line works better uh don't test multiple things in 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 these tests you test one thing at a time and see what results you get and then you can really you take all of this information and you compare one to the other say this one worked better we're going to work on this one let's let's refine that one down now what are we working on now are we going to do it that was a subject line we've refined now let's look at our call, call to actions are they working that's why you want to have all of this data to hand because if you don't have this data to hand, you cannot do any of these assessments. And I'm going to take the really bold statement and say you're going to be throwing good money after bad if you don't know how effective the things you are doing today are. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. What do you guys think? Uh, which programs are you using? Which 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 tools are you using to send out your email campaigns? Are they allowing you to see this information? Is it easy enough to go and get this information to assess it? Do you know what the different metrics are? Or did you know what the different metrics are before we did this? And do you know what they are now? Where do you still have uh, any any questions on on this information i would love to have conversations with you please leave comments below uh wherever your comments on wherever you are watching or listening to these videos i will absolutely respond if you dm uh, us on any of our social media channels i will definitely respond come and join us on our locals community ask charlielatham.locals.com and join the conversation there i'd love to see you if you can, please, it does help us immensely or it helps me immensely. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and it will help you if you ring the notification bell so you find out when my next piece of content drops. My content drops at 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time every day of the week. If you ring that notification bell, you'll get, the, you'll get it on your phone and you can just hit play and listen to it while you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about mobile friendly email design and why that's so important and boy do I have some thoughts on that and uh, in the meantime may your metric tracking be successful. I'll see you all tomorrow guys. Bye.